Hello everyone, in today's video, I am going to be solving the Cambridge IGCSE ICT Information and Communication Technology February March 2022 Paper 2 Region 1. I will do the Word document section in this video and I will provide the link in the description for the videos of the rest of the sections. So let's start with task 1. Open the file m2221evidence.rtf. So go to your work area and open the .rtf file. This is the m one evidence.rtf. And then make sure your name, sender number and candidate number will appear on every page of this document. So we will go to the header of the document and this new tab will open up. We will click this option and we will insert three blank columns and you have to type in your name, your center number and your candidate number. It doesn't have to be in this order, you can put it in any order, but, but you should have it in the header so that it appears on every page like this. It's on the first page. And if I have another page, wait. So it will appear now on every single page. So that's why I wrote it in the header. Let's move on to the next question. Save this document in your work area as evidence uh, as M triple two one evidence followed by your candidate number. So it should be in this format. So we will go to file, save as in work area as a we will save it as a dot docx word document file and m triple two one evidence and then followed by our candidate number. You will write your candidate number then click save and uh, ok so let's go to the next task you will need your evidence document during the examination to place screenshots when required so let's start task 2 now you are now going to edit a document for a company the company uses a uh, corporate house style for all its documents paragraph styles must be created, modified and applied as instructed open the file m one storage.rtf so we have uh, let's close this file for now. So m triple two one storage. This is the file, and the page setup is set to A4 portrait orientation with two centimeter margins. Do not make any changes to these settings. So let's make sure that we have uh, the settings they have given. So you will go to the layout tab, then click this option. Uh, and then you can see that we have portrait orientation, two centimeter margins, and A4 size page. So if you have uh, other measurement units, so I have CM. If you have inches, you can easily change it from file, and then go to options, advanced, scroll down. You will find here show measurement units in. So if in inches, you should set it to centimeters. That will be helpful because in questions we are given units as centimeters so that's it let's move on three paragraph styles have already been created. do not make changes to these styles let's see if we have our paragraph styles so go to home tab and wait let me see should be here is yes, styles click this and you will have these three HD paragraph styles so next we need to save the document in our work area in format of the software you're using so we're using uh, the word document so we will you save it as dot docx with the file name upgrade so i'm just gonna copy this name and we should we also need to take screenshot to show that we the file has been saved including evidence of the file type place this screenshot in your evidence document so this is our first evidence let's go and save this in our work area as upgrade and we will use dot docx format and we will click save okay now we also need to take evidence of this i will go to this uh, option again so let's go here again now we have this but we need to show our type as well so i will increase this so i can clearly clearly see that it's microsoft word document type we can see its name we will take screenshot of this so 
uh, you can use snipping tool uh, you can use window snip and click this window actually let's just use rectangular snip because this is not working properly so we will use rectangular snip and take the snip of this window and you can copy this and paste it in your evidence document so this is our evidence document okay we need to first press save so let's save this in our evidence document so just press ctrl v and this is our evidence so this is our evidence and then press ctrl s for save uh, to save this document okay let's move on let's see what's the next task so remove any preset page breaks in the document so to see the page breaks you need to click this so now you will see page break let's see if we have any yeah this is the page break just go here and press backspace the page break is gone let's see if we have any other page breaks we don't so this is done let's move on to the next task place in the header your name center number and candidate number right aligned so they have specified it to be right aligned so let's go into the header oh let's uh, just turn this off now so let's go into the header header and footer tab and we will insert uh, let's just insert these three and remove these two and we should have our name name wait, wait let me see it again name center number candidate number right line okay so name you, sh you can use commas to separate uh, the three so name center number and candidate number like this so now it will appear on every page place in your footer automate automated page numbers center line so let's go to the footer double click and insert a blank so we should have automated page numbers center line so you should be in your headers footer tab go to uh, quick parts and click field and you need to search for page this and then you can use the simple format and you can check this it's not that important and then click ok so now we have our page numbers center aligned so next we should uh, we need to make sure that the header is right aligned to the page margin the footer is center aligned between the page margins no other text or placeholders are included in the headers and footer areas header and footers are displayed on all pages so uh, uh, you saw that i removed those type hairs from uh, from the footer and header so we should make sure that other than our page number there is nothing else written so we should not have any random words or anything written in the footer or header and also we need to make sure that the page margin is two centimeter so the header should also be two centimeter away like the margin and others is that uh, header and footer displayed on all pages so you can see that our header and footer is displayed on the second page as well so this is also correct uh, the footer is center line between the page margins there's no other text and this, yes it's all okay so next we have to create the following paragraph style basing it on the default paragraph style so this is the hd title let's copy the name and go to home and make this here so this styles menu will open you need to click this to create a new style Control V, this is the name, and we need to base it on the normal style. Let's see, we have serif, serif is times new roman, 28 center bold italic. So serif is times new roman, 28 center bold and italic. And then line spacing single zero zero. So we have paragraph, uh, line spacing, uh, sorry. Zero, 0 and single okay also i would recommend to check this because if you have applied your uh, hd title style in the document if you make changes later on 
the changes will be applied to your document as well so now you we need to take the evidence of this open both tabs like this both windows and this open snipping tool and we will take the snip of both of these because uh, the line spacing in before and after uh, is uh, visible here it is visible here but before is not showing so it's better to take screenshot of both of these windows just in case so new there you go let's copy this uh, we do so copy and place this in our evidence document page okay okay so i accidentally applied this style of page. Uh, body, body body yes so whenever you're creating new styles you should have your cursor at the end of the document so it is not applied like it was applied here so yeah let's open up our evidence document so evidence one evidence two just like that so at the start of the document enter the title upgrade your storage data so let's copy this and go to the start of the document uh, press enter and write on write this title apply the sd title style to this text so select the text and click hd title there you have it wait is this the right size let me see 11 it was supposed to be 28 oops let's just change this so we have 28 here we select the subheading which drives work for you and the following text up up to and including the paragraph ending a slimmer drive in 9.5 mm space so from this this subheading to this paragraph slimmer drive slimmer di drive sorry yes so which something like which drives yes this to slimmer let's just click let's just find it you can click ctrl f and then slimmer i double m e r slimmer this is it slimmer drive so from here to here we need to select next let's see what we have to do so select the subheading which drives work and following text including the paragraph size slimmer drive in 9 mm space change the page layout so that only the text is displayed in two columns of equal width with a 1.5 centimeter space between them so go to layout and then columns more columns two columns and then should have a spacing of 1.5 so let's change this spacing to 1.5 and did they say to have a line between two columns between just no line so we will not check this option so yep this is perfect yes text is between two columns with yep so let's move on to part seven apply bullets to the text from uh, mechanical hard drives to m2 format solid state drives so let's find this mechanical hard drives let's just press ctrl f mechanical hard drives. yeah this is it so we need to apply bullets i think they said it to apply the style apply bullets okay so make sure they're using square shaped bullets okay so home we have bullets and then square shaped bullets make sure you have square shaped bullets the bullets are indented 1.5 centimeters from the left margin margin so uh, to check this you should go to paragraph and indentation should be 1.5 from the left margin okay did they say to have hanging no space before or after there should be six lines after the last item so they did not uh, tell us to have a hanging so we will do this none and 1.5 and no space before and after 
zero and single line spacing so this is like this and they also said that we should have a line spacing of six points after the last bullet so so let's make this six i think work let me see we have six points yep so we have make uh done all this so now we need to uh, see that this paragraph so this subhead star is already created we need to modify this and apply the following changes so it should be called hd subhead let's see is it already named hd i think it's already hd subhead. yes so we need to modify this uh so let's go and click modify and let's see the changes so we have it has to be serif 12 and center serif is times new roman 12 and center okay next wait uh previous one was also said yeah so serif to center italic bold all capital okay so it should be italic bold and not underline so we'll remove underline and capital so to make it capital also just check automatically to make it capital we will go to font and then all caps like that okay then uh, we should have single zero nine okay. so format paragraph uh, zero nine so zero after is nine and single line spacing just like that uh, so today take screenshot evidence to show your modified settings to the hd subhead paragraph style and place it this in your evidence document okay so i will open up the paragraph style so i can see this can i open no so you can see that it should show all caps yeah so we can see the all cap setting over here so we don't need to open uh, this one because it's al already showing here so we can only open a paragraph window and take the snip right here yeah it's not necessary to take the window of uh, to the take the screenshot of the paragraph window but uh, i think it's just better to do it just in case uh okay okay so was it 12 yeah and evidence so evidence three we have here so this was our hd title and this is our hd subhead let's move on so place a text box at the bottom of the paragraph that starts if you physically upgrade okay bottom of the paragraph so if you can physically upgrade yeah so at the top of the paragraph so we'll go to insert and then we will find text box and wait i think simple text box wait 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 sorry 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 so let's go here insert text box uh let's use draw a text box for now and i will go like this yeah uh i just wait 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 so it should be something like this and uh, we should use wrap text option it should be somewhere over here. wait let me see yeah this one and it should be i think square should be tight wrap yeah like this and uh, we should not have this indentation okay let's see so align the text box to the top of the paragraph and right and the right margin of the document so it should be at the right margin <laughs> and like that you can see the lines the green lines to help you with the alignment and this is perfect okay uh, grab the text so that no text is hidden behind the box yep locate the file m triple two one extra dot txt and place the contents of this file into the text box so m triple two one extra let's copy this and paste it into our text box so control v 
Okay, I think uh, this is not visible. Let me see. Once you are sure, you can upgrade. Okay, wait. I think it can be like this. Let me see. Of the technologies and let me just uh, format this so we can completely see. No, I don't want it to be like this. Uh, let's see. Yep, this is perfect. Just decrease it a bit. Yep. No, 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 no. Hmm. Let's try this and this. No. Yep. Wait, wait. So it's not working out. I'm trying it. Wait. Did they say it should be right lined? All in the text box to the top and right point of the document. Wrap the text to make sure there's no text below behind. Format the text as text as ST body paragraph style and make it bold. Make sure that all text is visible and words not split over lines in the text box. So it should be HD body. Let's try that. Maybe then it will work. So HD body. This one. And let's try to decrease it now. So I think now it's perfect. Yeah, this works out. Yes, I think it's okay. So make sure that all the text is visible and words are not split over lines in the text box. Home the text box with light gray background, a three four point thick line. So light gray background. So click the text box, shape format, and then we have let's see shape fill. Light gray. So it's twenty five percent darker. Yeah, fifteen percent darker or twenty five is also light. So let's do twenty five. You can do fifteen also. It doesn't matter and three four point thick line so let's get a line outline which is going to be three to four point three to four so let's do three yeah and then it may look like this yeah we have actually a one line below actually we have two yeah it's okay but if we can make it very specific but wait let me see maybe i'm gonna go with this it may look like this yeah set one point black internal and external grid lines so let's find our table so this is the table select the whole table and then i think it's in table design we have our grid lines let me see where was the grid lines yeah, view grid lines. But I think we should uh, add this internal uh, borders. So let me see, look, it's at one point black, internal and external grid lines. So it should be one point, let me see. Uh, one point. And I think this is all set it all and we have now one point uh, lines for lines internal and external okay delete the entire column and contents with the heading notes okay so we need to delete the entire column that is has the heading notes so press delete on your wait wait no let's try it again so select the whole column right click delete columns and then apply the HD table paragraph style to all the table to all the data in this table. So select the whole table, go to home styles, and then HD table. Okay, uh, set the table with width to 15 centimeters. Width. So table width should be 15 centimeters. Let's see if we have our width, it should be 15. Uh, 15.0 cm oops did i get it wrong was it one 15 centimeters it's cell size i'm not doing the whole table so i'm actually setting the cell each cell to 15 
we need to make so that the whole table is 15 centimeters let me see do we have it in properties so if we go to row uh, specify width yeah so let's try 15 centimeters it's over here so 15 yep this is perfect so now if we see our table properties we have uh, our 15 centimeter width center the uh, center the table within the page margins okay so we need to center align this table select the table press ctrl e and it is now center aligned Cent uh, make sure that words are not split over lines with when text is wrapped okay let's see so we have words and i don't think so any word is splitting over lines and next up all grid lines are displayed when printed okay and then there is a six point space after the table okay so let's set a six point space after the table go to home paragraph you need to put your cursor right here or you can actually select this and go to uh, the window this paragraph window and then before i'm doing before because i have selected this if i was putting my cursor here i would do after but now i'm doing before six points there's the space and uh, let's see so we should also make sure that our table is not split over two pages so i think i'm going to try and, uh, i think uh, we're going to do that at the end so let's move on for now import the image m triple two one ssd dot jpg and place it in the paragraph beginning the m.2 format is effectively so m.2 format effectively let's see uh, format is effectively where do we have that yeah this is the paragraph so we need to place this image the beginning okay so i'm going to put my cursor at the beginning of this paragraph i'm going to click insert pictures now from this device uh i'm going to go to my work area and then we have m triple two one ssd this is the image so rotate the image 180 degrees so click on the image go to picture format and then we have uh, rotate uh, flip horizontal this is 180 degree rotation then we have uh, it is decided to half of the column width with its aspect ratio maintained so so the it is now covering whole column and it's 10.75 so i'm going to make this half of 7.758 let me make sure what was the width of the what was the width of the each column i think I can check that from here so yeah 7.75 was the width so we need to make this half of 7.75 let me just quickly open up my calculator and see 7.75 divided by 2 3.875 okay so we need to make this 3.875 3. 875 and there we have it it should be at the top and it should be a tight wrap like this with the m oh wait i messed it up wait 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 it was it was this the m2 bar for this this paragraph sorry yeah this paragraph okay so it is a resize to how it is aligned to the right of the column and top of the paragraph starting image. okay so it should be to the right i made left sorry and then spell check and proofread the document make sure that the list and tables are not split over columns and page okay so let's do the spell check and proofreading i think it's in review spelling and grammar 
so it's 32 key bytes i think it's okay no runs and g bytes no runs and we yes i think this is also okay 2.5 in mm, i think it's okay as well disk one on a mechanical hard disk yeah let's just place a comma there uh, ignore runs ignore runs uh it's comma so far we've only yeah let's just place a comma solid state i don't think so ignore ignore yep so we've done the spell check and proofreading so there are no widows or orphans let's make sure that so we should not have any heading and then only two three lines of the paragraph at one page and then next to the other yeah like this this is a uh so we need to make the move this to the next column so let's do that like this yeah it's better now because we had only two lines over here and that's not the proper way so i pressed enter to move this to the next column let's check for other errors like this and yeah i think it's okay according to a new system wait this was this supposed to be the subhead i'm not sure okay let's move on now there are no blank pages paragraphs have been instructed and uh, instructed with the cons uh, consistent spacing maintained, there is a six point spread after table in the list. Save the document and file name uniform and print the document. Let me make sure. Yeah, this is a problem. We need to move this table to the next page. Yeah, that's better. And let's make sure everything is all right. I just checked this is supposed to be the subhead style so i don't know when i removed it i must have accidentally removed it so let's just apply subhead style to this as well so yes this is uh, the completed document and then you can just go ahead and print your document uh, you can use your printer or print to pdf if you're just attempting this paper at home so yeah this is a word document section and i will do the rest of the sections in another video and i will provide the link that video in the description and uh, so see you guys in the next video bye